like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Better move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. Get to work, you rotten layabout. If that's not clear... You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. is quite cluttered. Pray leap. A job well done. Now the next step is to What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Thank you. 
But should the battle turn dire, keep in mind that you do have recovery magic at your disposal. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons that will never be battered. Targeted strikes. I would recommend. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there! Shoot it down!
Great. Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? Tis a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly no like that. It's here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Patal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Patal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. If you find your strength lacking, buy the curative or have a bit of green orange. When one of the fiends comes, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. advantage against their ranks. There are often items to be scavenged, bodies and monsters. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragoners yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that tis a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the visible state of the village of hell to see that. Can but hope to solve them. Rid us of their That's the Sovereign's duty, isn't it? When the dragon rears its ugly head, the Sovereign appears among the people and steps forth to challenge it. I dare say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the Sovereigns who have served it over time. Though, personally... Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns such as myself are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pre Very well. Make. I'm dead on my feet after today's train. Can ill afford to linger here. There's no my easy thing. Dark times are taking a little head full of growth. Force goes over. Look, Master, a treasure chest. <laughs> We shall have to find a way to reach it. If you've a commission for... Well met. Always a pleasure. Going out, are you? You sure? You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings. You're Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Come now. I've not the time for your prattling. Bother someone else. I'd hasten home. My Were this not my duty? Hoy there. You s my pa always used to say, there's not a good night's sleep. I, being a you should stop by the... in in Melv if you get the chance. You shan't hear me complain about... I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings and if you'd like to change your vocation come see me anytime.
always a pleasure. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. Master, I've naught more to say. Pressing me further shan't change that. Methinks we've earned a brief rip. Nothing to report, I'm afraid. Where to next, Arisen? Beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings and if you'd like to. Change your vocation. Come see me anytime. Always a pleasure. We're running low on him. We've had a hard time. I sent Marcus to gather what must say you. Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. <sighs> I suppose I can't. Hey all, we've had to start sending out. Is that so? Lachlan. Aye, I expect. Ricardo. What? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only you've my thanks. Our aid is required, Master. Let us depart with due haste. so soon? Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. We're in fine form. Our fight will soon be sorry to have captured us.
over so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Is that all of them? Yeah, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. Hey, old friend. Many thanks. Aye, that it was. It was a bit too early for him. We'll be extending his training. <laughs> Speaking of tra... Tis a goodly deed we've done. Now, Sir Ricardo can return to his duty in good health.
Behold the state of the village. It is a sorry sight indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. I have a selection of wares. It's sure to play. Hope to see you again. Release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me.
thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon, I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. Arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. Marison. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. What say we gather some information? 